Macros in a production are used to take a bunch of different tasks and put them into a single button press or action recall. Building macros in Kairos is very simple. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner of your screen, you have a record button. To initiate a macro record, simply select the record function and now you notice down at the bottom, it lets you know a macro recording has started. We also get a red indicator here letting us know now all of our actions are being recorded. If you want to do something like a transition, you can hit your transition bar here and send a transition. Now that action is recorded. If you want to change your multiviewer layout, let's say you want to change multiviewer one to the same look as multiviewer two and do the, your, your recall here. Now that action has been recorded. Maybe you want to um, come in and do a PTZ, preset recall. I can come in here and recall the console four preset. Now that action has been recorded. Now as all of these actions record, and I'll stop my recording here, I can now go to my macro control tab and see that last made macro on this page here. So when you initiate that record, and I can initiate another one here, you'll always get a new macro with REC dash whatever the next available integer is. In this case, it's seven. And the macro we previously recorded, of course, it was six. So to view the actions that were recorded as a part of that macro, I simply can right click, go to my edit menu here, and now it's going to pull up the actions that were recorded and captured as a part of that macro. From this script here, I now have the ability to go in and edit. Maybe I want to recall preset one instead of preset two, so now I can make that change there. Or maybe I want to recall both. So I want PTZ preset one to recall, but I want to copy this action and paste it down a little bit further and now recall preset two. So now I'm programming in a move. Of course, when I send this command, it's gonna send both of them at the same time. If I want to break those two steps up, I can go in and add things like a weight. To insert a weight, just come up to the insert weight button. I can do that in milliseconds, seconds, or of course in frames. So let's say I wanted to do 55 frames, I'll select 50 frames. And now of course I can come in and just type in the difference that I want. So instead of 50, now it's 55 and maybe just give myself a little bit of breaks here in the command so I can see what's happening. Now that I have a macro built that I wanna save, I can click this save function here. So now this macro is saved. If I wanna recall from this menu, I can hit this play function. And now all of those actions are gonna happen at once. So we have all three of these actions happening at once. And then 55 frames later, this action happens and is recalled. If I wanna take all of these steps and add them to another macro, I can simply highlight all of them, do a copy command, control C, and now come into maybe this other macro that we started to record and do a control V. And so now I've copy and pasted those commands and I can continue to build on more complex macros, stacking more and more scripting commands together. If you have ideas for other macros that you want to write or um, questions about the language that's in here. We do have this help function built in and this gives you a little bit better idea of the types of commands that you can use within your Kairos. Now that I have this record six macro created, of course I want to remember what is included in this script. So instead of leaving it just as that default name, I can go back in and rename this and maybe name this my training macro. So now I've saved and created this macro as a part of my global tab here. When we talk about macros, we do have three different categories for those macros. The category does not impact the power of a macro. So a global macro can do anything a scene macro can do and anything a panel macro can do. These different tabs here just help categorize where that macro is going to show up. So because I have this in our global, first level of global macros here, it's gonna show up as a button press on our REST API. If I were to take this macro and copy and paste it or create a new macro as a part of a scene specific macro here, that macro would then show up as a cross point or a delegatable object 
um, within that scene. And then our last category of macro, our panel macro, those are macros that are gonna actually show up on your panel. So if we move over to our panel here, we can see we are working in profile eight that doesn't have any macros currently. And so if I were to add a macro here, so let's first copy this macro completely and paste it over in our panel. Now that we paste it here, if I go to my panel and select my macro key, we can now see that that training macro has been copy and pasted and is now a button press on my panel. In addition to categorizing macros and copying and pasting them to the panel, I can also initiate a macro record from the panel as well. Now that I've initiated that record, we can see in the software I get a red indicator that my actions are being recorded. We also have the functionality built into the surface to add weights in manually. So maybe if you want to fire a transition and then add a 30 frame weight and then fire it again, now we've just created those two steps with a 30 frame break between them. Now my macro is good and done. I stop recording and we can see that now I get a new macro here. REC-1 has been recorded as a part of my panel macros. So macros give you the flexibility to do multiple things at one time, whether that's something simple like firing a transition or something more complex like triggering external devices while moving cameras while firing that transition. And the ability of KROS to put them on your panel or fire them from the software will simplify your production and make things streamlined for the operator.